My name is Andreas Angelidakis. I'm an architect who doesn't build, which means I studied architecture, but I did not do the job of an architect, which usually involves producing buildings for commercial reasons. Instead, I, I focused on the art world and uh, have been sort of investigating the uses of architecture in contemporary art. So I've been uh, working on ruins, and most recently in the idea of the soft ruin. Soft comes from both literally things being, you know, like soft, but also from the word software. There are simple volumes with printed material on them, but in fact they're soft and lightweight and you could move them around. It's like just a click. I'm mixing, of course, digital with physical objects. That's kind of what I've always been doing in my work. I try to design things as if an algorithm would design them. My name is Denis Pernet. I'm a curator for Audemars Piguet Contemporary. Andras Angelidakis Center for the Critical Appreciation of Antiquity is a very large environment installation that invites visitors to discover from a totally new angle the heritage of Greek ancient culture. The installation takes the form of an excavation site, an archaeological excavation. There's no digging going on, but the, it's kind of a mock-up station. The idea is to refer to the use of ancient columns as uh, protective devices for a city. And even dogs are allowed on them, of course. <laughs> like I do with the video that it, it was commissioned by Audemars Piguet Contemporary, and it will be presented at the Spassny Meyer in Paris. That was actually a suggestion by Denis Pernet, the curator of the project, and it was a perfect fit. Andras conceived Center for the Critical Appreciation of Antiquity in relation to the Espace de Meyer, confronting that pre-modern history with an icon of modernism was for him very interesting. I worked with the team at Audemars Piguet Contemporary. They really function as a Kunsthalle which means they are not just commissioning a project and giving you the way to do it, but they're involved in every stage of the process. I look at exhibitions as also as spaces. That means that visitors are often allowed to change the artwork, move things around, create their own ruins. And there is a, an interesting critique of exhibitions and how audience interact with it. Exhibitions are, are displays of, of things, that you're supposed to just look at things. But then I want to make exhibitions that are environments, uh, sort of immersive experiences. And then I'm kind of observing how much the, the project reacts with that, because it also has a life of its own. <laughs> 